All right, heads on screen printers. Uh, some of us got to get very creative with how we wash out our uh, screens and everything in order to keep gunk from going down our sinks. Um, so this is my wash out booth setup. Um, I still have to fix this plastic tub that I use, but I originally had this one, which was good, but I couldn't fit the larger screens because I do print bandanas. So corrugated plastic, uh, just kind of score the back side of it and you could fold it over, keeps the seams from having anything in between it. That way no water gets up through there. Bucket I just bought, cut a little well in the front to make it easier to wash the bottoms of it. Uh, just wood, no Devo 2x4s, and um, uh, two by two piece of wood. I just kind of cut it to what I needed to fit. Um, this is where the stuff gets pretty interesting. So cut a hole in the bottom of the, the wood so the drain could sit even, and then also put like a small hole with the bulkhead fitting in the uh, tub so that I could get drain, so that it could drain, actually. Inside of these trash cans, this one, it's um, it's actually hat screens. So there's three of them. There's a 110, 160, and then a 200 mesh. And then I bought a filter to cut to size from Home Depot. I have a big sheet of that, so as I need it, I can just discard that and put it in a new fresh piece. So that'll fill it here. It'll come down. Um, this will fill up to a certain level where I put another bulkhead fitting and a one inch PVC pipe connector to go down into here. And inside of this one is a small sump pump and it's got that float switch on it. So once it kicks on, um, it'll start pumping the water. I did put a check valve on, a little piece of uh, clear tubing. And then it goes down this way around through the back and then onto my two-stage whole house filter. Um, because I am on a patio, I had to get very creative with it. So it kind of pours out through here. And from that, I'm gonna have to get fresh clean buckets, but it'll go down into that bucket. And I'll be able to safely discard it. Um, over here behind me, the electric pressure washer. So I'll use that to clean in everything here. So this whole area will be just like my kind of washout booth station. But um, with the price of a filter and everything and a washout booth, it's kind of one of the more expensive things you can get. It is necessary. Um, but at this point with the filter, the pump, the buckets, the wood, trial and error, little fittings, PVC piping and everything, I'm into this for right around between 250 and 300 bucks. So for 250 bucks, I was able to build a nice, safe washout system that'll kind of keep me from damaging the environment and hopefully allow me to be able to clean more screens and uh, make a little more money. If you have any questions, let me know.